Alright guys, what's going on? This is always back with another part of the Java Central Training Series. We use if and else statement in Java, but let me give you an example of what is if and else statement. Let's say you are in a 10th standard and before the night you're going to get your result for your 10th standard exams. Maybe your mom come up to you and say, if you get 75% marks, you're going to get laptop. And if you get lower than that, you're going to get kicked out from the house. So there are two conditions here basically. Either you're going to get a laptop or you're going to get kicked out from the house. And there's another statement we use in Java, if, else, if, else, if, else. So else if can be used many times. So let's say your dad come up to you and tell you that if you get 90% marks, you're going to get a laptop. 80% marks, you get a mobile. 70% marks, you're going to get a PlayStation 4. And if you get lower than that, you're going to get kicked out. So that's a quick example that there are a few conditions that has to go. There's going to be only one condition which is going to be true. So I'm going to go to my computer now and I will apply those conditions and let's see what we get. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe now. And you can give me feedback in the comments below. You can follow me on Twitter at oasemirza01. Thanks for watching, so let's get started. All right, guys, before we talk about if and else and else if statements, right, I'm going to import a scanner class. So let's add a scanner class. So import java.util.scanner, okay? And now I'm going to create a scanner here. Let's add scanner. I'm going to name it scan, okay? Is equal to new is a keyword. And then scanner again. And then I'm going to type system dot in. So this is going to help us to input data from the console. Okay, so now let's add some variables here. So I'm going to add two variables, int x, y. Okay, so we have two variables now, int x and y. Let's add, okay, so now I'm going to ask uh, from the user to input the x value. So s out for x value, so enter, the x value okay done and then x is equal to I'm going to type scan which is my variable for the scanner which is going to scan from the console dot next int and semicolon all right so s out again and I'm going to enter the y value okay that's done and I'm going to ask for a y value again all right so y is equal to scan and dot next inch right so we got x value from the console y value from the console right so now let's compare them so i'm going to say that if x is greater than y then print out to the console s out for the printing out and then x is greater then y okay and i'm going to type another statement here okay uh, let's add another statement which is going to be else okay and i'm going to in the parentheses i'm going to say we don't need the parentheses now because we're not giving any condition so if that doesn't happen the else statement will um will run okay so i'm going to add a code block here now and with that s out okay and then we say y is greater than x okay so let's run this program now okay i'm going to add 22 and y value let's say 10 okay so now it's telling me that x is greater than y so that basically a statement um was true so that run that's the message all right, so now let's add a few more things here. Okay. Else if, okay, I'm going to say x dot equal, sorry, space equal is an assignment operator y, and then I'm going to add a code block here. I'm going to system out x is equal to y right so we got three statements so we have x is greater than y if x is equal to y then print out this message else print out this message let's run the program now 
okay I'm going to type 10 and y value 10 so now it's telling me that x is equal to y all right so let's run this program again and let's say 22 and 10 so now x is greater than y okay so that was a quick tutorial about if else and else statement so first going to be if statement then another condition and then the last condition you can add as many as condition you want depending on your program um, and then you can at last you can type else statement right so that was a quick tutorial guys uh, if you have any question let me know in the comments below thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video cheers